guys, welcome back. It's Shelby and today we are decorating a lampshade. So this video is actually one of two that I'm doing. So I got a lamp that was free and a little bit beat up, but I'm thinking that it can just be super cool and glam. So I'm going to totally redo it and hopefully it turns out well. But uh, first we're starting with the lampshade. So this is the lampshade. It's pretty basic. Um, wow, it's huge on camera. I mean, it's big, but it's not that big. Put it back next to my head for reference. It's like, um, I don't know, maybe a foot and a half diameter on that side and 14 inches at the top because it like is kind of cone shaped a little bit. But uh, yeah, anyway, it's just like a tan fabric over the paper um, connects at the top on the lamp itself. I will insert um, kind of a picture of the lamp here of what it looks like but um yeah so it's looking a little sad but we're gonna fix that and it's gonna be awesome and like i said today we are doing the lampshade so basically i don't want it to be beige my idea for the lamp is gold and black i like the lines of it so i'm thinking maybe something like a little bit art deco looking it's not quite that shape but just kind of the idea of it so for the lampshade i'm gonna be using some black satin and this is left over if it looks familiar. It's because it is. And I actually didn't even have to cut it. It was perfect length. I just cut it um, widthwise. Um, but this is the fabric that I used to make my ball gown. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it above because it's awesome and you should definitely check it out. But yeah, I'm going to be using some black satin, some adhesive gems, nice and shiny. And then um, just my hot glue, which is heating up down here. But yeah, I will link everything you need down in the description below along with my socials. Give the video a thumbs up if you like the video, consider subscribing, and let's get going. So to get started with, basically I'm just finding the shiny side of my satin. I've cut it so that it will go all the way around and it's just a little bit bigger than my lampshade. But the top part has these like stitch holes in it, so I'm just folding it over like that and going to be fastening it to the top of the lampshade, the current existing lampshade, with some hot glue. So I'm just gonna run, so I'm just gonna run a bead of hot glue and I'm gonna work pretty quickly. Just roll this over and try to keep it as straight as possible on the seam. So I'm doing this for a couple reasons. First of all, so that will attach. When it rolls over, it's a nice straight line, but also the glue, if it goes through the fabric and you can see it here, you won't see it on the second one. So just let that hang loose for now and complete all the way around. Now that it's all done I'm going to flip it over and basically just pull this part smooth so that there's no wrinkles in it and attach it on the inside just like we did on the top just run a bead of glue right here and attach it It looks like that and we're just going to trim off a little bit of the excess so here we are with the lampshade it's turning out pretty good it's pretty smoothly on there it looks really nice just a black satin cover I'm going to be going in with my gems I've got three sizes large medium and small and basically what I'm going to be doing is starting on the bottom and just putting a bunch of gems and then getting smaller and fewer as we go up. Kind of a gem to not gem fading starry sky look. So even though these gems are adhesive, I don't really trust it 
other than like on paper, not on fabric. So I'm gonna be adding hot glue to these before I put them on. But I'm just gonna take them off in a strip because it's gonna be easier to apply it that way. It's kinda like that. And then we're gonna start just by kind of pressing them on wherever, wherever you want. I'm gonna be adding a lot of gems down at the bottom. So I have absolutely no problem just sticking them on there. And yeah, just kind of go nuts with the gems in whatever pattern you want. You can do diamonds, crosshatch, stripes, anything you want, but I think it'd be cool to do like heavily crystalled and then fewer. So that's what I'm gonna do. Time to clean up the threads from hot glue, so I'm taking a dry paintbrush. I'm just kind of brushing against the grain that way to help clean it up a little bit more easily than just pulling it off with my fingers. Okay guys, we are all done and here's how it turned out. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? I think it's adorable, so just the lovely black satin pulled nice and tight and then have the explosion of gems down here kind of fading up to into a like dark starry sky. So yeah, I think this turned out awesome. This is going to go great on the lamp. Not how it is now, but how it will be, definitely. So uh, yeah, I will uh, definitely follow up and I will link this video to that video when I get it done, but it's not done yet because I haven't done the lamp yet. Um, but hopefully I will get that done and that will be my next video up. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, but yeah, I hope you like the project. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you here again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.